Another tragic loss from teens taking drugs laced with fentanyl. This morning, we're learning more about the latest overdose death at a local high school. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at El Camino Charter in Woodland Hills, where parents are both heartbroken and on alert. Cara, good morning. Good morning, Marcy. We do know that school psychologists will be available to students on this campus for weeks to help them cope with this tragedy. Take a look. El Camino Real is a charter high school, part of LAUSD. The student attending here who died was just 17. The details surrounding that death still unclear, but LAUSD and city leaders have been speaking out about what they call a fentanyl epidemic. Take a look. Just a few weeks ago, we reported the death of 15 year old Melanie Ramos. She passed out in a restroom at Bernstein High in Hollywood. Authorities said she and a friend took what they thought was Percocet after getting those pills from another student in a park. The following week, LAUSD launched a new campaign to bring a fentanyl antidote called Narcan to district campuses and middle and high schools should have that by next week. Meanwhile, police agencies have issued repeated warnings about drugs laced with fentanyl and say so-called rainbow fentanyl, which comes in bright colors and is designed to entice teenagers, has been a particular problem. Same time, take a look. L.A. County Public Health has issued a warning about the dangers. They say fentanyl is 50 times more potent than heroin and that when illegally made, it's especially dangerous. It's mixed with other drugs often and there are no quality controls. They also say, also say synthetic opioids are now the most common cause of overdose deaths, with that percentage more than quadrupling since 2010. So, Marcy, Rachel, clearly a growing, deadly problem, and health leaders urging parents to really sit down and talk with their children about this.